What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be talking about another celebrity's car collection. As per usual, if there's someone you want us to talk about in these videos, just comment their name down below and we'll be taking the name that pops up the most in the comments. Also, a quick reminder, there's still 73% of you who are not yet subscribed. So if you want to join us and learn a lot about these celebrities' car collections or about my own cars and general car news, all you have to do is click that subscribe button, the little bell next to it, and you'll be able to follow the adventures with us. Anyways, Let's get started because today we are talking about a man who needs no introduction, Justin Bieber. I think this is the video that we've made on a celebrities collection where we're going to be talking about the most cars. We're talking Bugatti Veyron, Rolls Royce, Ghost, Phantom, Sprinter Van, 430, so many cars. You guys definitely all know who Justin Bieber is. Only in his mid 20s, he has a net worth. Very hard to estimate, but what it seems like most people are saying is around $285 million in 2020. I mean, it could be way more than that, to be honest. And one thing that's for sure is he loves cars and he has had a fair few cars in his time. This one we're going to have to fire through pretty quickly because we've got a lot of cars to go through not all are justin's some are lent by friends some are rented so we're going to go through all the cars that he's been associated with and kind of filter through which ones are his which ones were rented and which ones were kind of gifts let's start back way back when justin bieber was coming up 16 17 years old we're going to start with i'm not sure this was actually his first car but something fairly reasonable a smart 4-2 with a what looks like a brabus body kit matte black car justin was seen driving this around not too much much, to be honest, only like two or three times. But pretty cool looking smart and kind of perfect first car to learn how to drive in. He then kind of went full 360, so went from smart to a Range Rover. Project Khan, so Khan design tuned kind of pimped out Range Rover, which looked pretty cool and obviously is a very far cry from his smart. He didn't hang around from there. He then went straight into supercars. So clearly, Justin, you can see that he what he really likes to see throughout the video is kind of specking these cars out, changing the colors. And he got a Ferrari F430, his first ever Ferrari, first ever supercar, 483 horsepower, naturally aspirated V8, awesome looking thing in matte black with red details. And that's kind of what sparked a future incredible lineup for him. Right after that, it was actually followed by a Porsche 997 Turbo. Now this car we think was probably loaned to him by a friend. He was only seen in it once. However, it's not the end of the Porsche Turbo story for him because recently with his now wife, Hayley Bieber, he was seen driving a, another Porsche Turbo, this time a white convertible Turbo 991, which was rented. Clearly quite likes the 911s and the only ones he's ever really been seen in are the turbos. Now we start with the kind of slightly more crazy specs. Audi R8 V8, which he had wrapped in leopard print. This is one of the looks he had. He then also had it at one point, you'll see later in the video in a different spec. But yeah, leopard print Audi R8. Even the inside apparently was done. The seats, absolutely insane. He was seen driving this around a little bit back in the day. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to say here, guys. All of these cars are, I mean, apart from the smart, basically all of them are well above the $100,000 mark. So, you know, clearly finances are already not really an issue at this point for Justin Bieber in his life. Now getting a taste of how you can modify and personalize cars, Justin Bieber then discovered West Coast Customs, which was the beginning of a very long relationship between him and the garage in LA, who have kind of just modified all of his cars ever since they started back in the day with a Cadillac CTS-V, which he had completely redone in Batman spec. It was suicide doors, really, really cool looking, complete one-off. Don't believe he has the car anymore. I mean, it may be sat in a garage somewhere. This was definitely kind of one of the cars he went craziest with in terms of modifications. So you can see how he's kind of stepping up to having a more and more craziness done to his cars. Around about the same time, I guess because he was touring a lot then, uh, wanted a car to be driven around in. Didn't get a car, got a van, like we've seen in some of the other videos. He got a Mercedes Sprinter. Seems to be quite a thing that happens in matte black. Awesome. Now, there aren't too many photos of the inside. There is this photo of him inside a Sprinter. We're not too sure if that's inside his, but he's definitely been seen using this to get around a fair amount. Uh, hasn't been seen in a while. This was also done by West Coast Customs, but I mean, kind of perfect car to cruise around in if you want to be in the back and not have anyone taking any photos of you and relax with your friends. Now we make plays for toys. So Justin then went and got himself a bunch of toys. Now I don't want to mess up any of the names here, so I've got a little list. So I'm just going to read them off quickly and you'll see a photo of them at the same time. The Campania T-Rex 14R, Can-Am Spider Motorbike, bike, Ducati 488 Evo, and KTM 500 E. XCF. So yeah, these are all, you know, again, we don't know if he still has them. He may have them all lying in a garage somewhere in one of his many houses that he'll have in the States or in Canada. 
pretty cool to have all these toys. Kind of went crazy with them at one point, just buying up basically everything he could get his hands on. But when you're 18, 19 years old and you've got more money than you know what to do with, why not get every single toy you can think about? Then came what seems to be one of the biggest false rumors was him being gifted a Bugatti Veyron. So a red Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport. It was reported that he was gifted this by producer, rapper, Birdman, who's actually got himself other Veyrons. Not just singular, plural, other Veyrons, which is pretty cool. Birdman. It was a bit odd saying that. Anywho, he wasn't actually gifted this car, so Justin Bieber was seen in photos with it. I think what happened is probably Birdman just lent him the car for a little bit or, or you know, just for the photos or they met up and he took photos with it. But I don't think he ever actually gave it to him because he was never ever seen with it again. The car wasn't seen and ever associated to Bieber again. So, you know, it'd be very odd that you get a car like that and only take it out once. So, believe that this was just a car that he was seen with that happened to belong to Birdman and then it was reported he gave it to him. But, you know, $2 million car, awesome looking thing, great spec. Birdman actually has his own red Veyron, another one without the facelifted lights and a normal 16.4 Veyron. Yeah, seems to be a theme. Red Bugattis for him. Mr. Birdman seems to be doing very well. Now, one car we do know for sure Justin Bieber owned is his Fisker Karma. Now, this was a gift to him actually from his manager, Scooter Braun, for his birthday. He then went and wrapped the car in chrome, just in case it didn't stand out enough. Really cool car that was one of the first on the market to kind of bring in electric motors and make them sexy, make them look cool. Henrik Fisker, the designer of the car, was a designer for Aston Martin. He also designed the BMW Z8. So legendary designer, designed this Fisker Karma, and then Justin Bieber was gifted one, wrapped it in chrome, and then decided to give it to his mate, Sean Kingston. Why not? Just hand it over to him. So there's a little video of Sean Kingston walking out of what looks like a restaurant or a nightclub in LA and getting into this car and explaining how Justin Bieber gave it to him. I'm gonna be honest, I got it as a gift, man. A gift? Yeah. Yeah. Word? Yeah. You nice. know, when you best friends, when you best when you best friends with one of the biggest artists in the world, you know what I'm saying? You get you get all you get all different type of gifts, you know? <laughs> Be cool if your friend just lends you a car like that. Now, Fisker, the company actually has since been bought and anyways, whole new deal with those cars, but that's a different story. Sean Kingston was actually seen in another car with Justin Bieber, a Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, first generation five liter V10, naturally aspirated V10, around 500 horsepower, awesome looking thing. Now, Justin Bieber was seen in this car with Sean Kingston, but apparently it was Sean Kingston's car, never actually Justin's. And he also clearly quite liked it because then in Miami, a few years later, he went and rented a yellow, facelifted 560 version of the Lamborghini Gallardo. And this was quite a famous car because he was caught street racing in this and got into a bit of trouble with it. Now that was actually not his car. It was a rented car, which he had rented for his weekend in Miami. Pretty baller, yellow Lamborghini. But yeah, I think that car's actually still for rental. I imagine it probably goes for a little bit more expensive now that it's kind of the car that was made famous for Justin Bieber. I'm sure you can tell I'm kind of getting through these quickly. We still got a lot to go, guys. Next up is this Cadillac Escalade. Not just any old Cadillac Escalade. He's at the rear of the car completely remodded to kind of like Mercedes Viano V-Class or Sprinter spec. Completely luxurious, massive screen, PS4, probably has Wi-Fi, it's got flat, got lay flat seats. Awesome looking thing from the outside, cannot tell, inside completely modified. And there was a period where he seemed to kind of only be using this car to get around in. Very cool, I mean perfect, nice and discreet, loads of Cadillac Escalades in the States, yet you're perfectly comfortable in the back. Whilst on the theme of American cars, let's skip quickly to a Lincoln Continental Classic, which was actually in his music video for Boyfriend. Justin Bieber was reported that this was one of his cars in the collection, but I think it was probably just rented for the video because again, never ever seen again with it. Awesome looking thing, classic American muscle, but yeah, I mean, that doesn't seem to be something that he particularly likes because in his collection, doesn't seem to have any classic cars. Has, however, been chauffeured around in Rolls Royces. Rolls Royce Ghost and Rolls Royce Phantom. So there's videos of him, I mean, actually a pretty cool video of him, of where Larry King's crossing the road, TV legend uh, in the States, if you guys don't know don't know Larry King, but he was crossing the road and then Justin Bieber comes around, window goes down and you just see Justin Bieber casually, baller as he is, sat in the back of this Rolls Royce, shakes hands with Larry King in the middle of the road, stopping traffic, and then they go on their way. Pretty cool. And also a few photos that he's posted with Rolls Royce Phantoms, various different Rolls Royce Phantoms, probably loaned or rented every time. If he was, I don't know, like for example, in this photo, going on a trip, somewhere, needed something to pick him up at the runway, take him to his duties in the city he was in, and then back, probably run to Rolls Royce Phantom. Because why not? Clearly quite enjoys the luxury kind of big sedans like that because he also posted this photo with a Maybach S600. Again, no clue if this was his car at one point, if he still has it. I believe it was probably rented or loaned again while he was in a city just visiting or something like that because he's only ever been seen with this car once and that was in this one photo. Now we get onto one of his most famous cars, his Ferrari. 
Cosmic 458, which has been through a few different iterations. He no longer owns this car. He actually auctioned it away and donated the money for this car when it was in its final livery, which we'll talk about in a second. But it started off its life as a white Ferrari 458 with white rims. It was, it was a pretty crazy looking thing. And there's a famous video of him actually getting chased by a paparazzi and stopping and basically having a go at the paparazzi in the middle of traffic. The stories of paparazzi, I guess, when you're as famous as Justin Bieber, don't stop there. He kind of gets chased wherever he goes. There's another story where he actually brake checked a paparazzi. So a guy in a Prius went into the back of him and you could actually see marks on the Prius from where the exhaust of the Ferrari was. And then, yeah, he was basically just trying to put them off from following him wherever he went, which is kind of understandable. But I guess a brake check is a fairly extreme way of doing it, especially when you're in a Ferrari. So that car was made very famous by all of those antics. It was then wrapped, of course, by West Coast Customs again in a frozen blue color. Really, really cool looking. I actually love this spec. One of my favorite 458s I've ever seen. Black rims, awesome looking thing. Didn't actually keep this for that long. Only seen driving around in it a couple of times. And then it went through a whole rebody again by West Coast Customs. It was then kitted out with a Liberty Walk body kit wrapped in a different shade of matte blue, new wheels, the whole, whole shebang. And he was actually seen driving this car alongside, remember it, the R8 that was leopard print was then wrapped also in matte black and his Cadillac Escalade were all seen together in this video. And then not too long after that, the car was auctioned off. And as I said, he donated all the money and then moved on to a G-Wagon, not just any G-Wagon, a four by four squared. You can see him walking along in this video, an awesome looking thing, massive, massive. It's kind of like a raised, more hardcore version of the G63 AMG. Still got the V8 twin turbo, awesome looking thing. And that wasn't the end of it as far as G-Wagons were concerned because the four by four squared, whether he thought that was too big, attracted too much attention. I don't know. He then moved on to a G65, which are actually very rare. So the 65, differently to the 63, actually has a V12 by turbo. And they're, I mean, hugely more expensive. They're like almost $100,000 more expensive than a G63. The car started off its life in white. So it's got very recognizable chrome rims, uh, which are the rims that you actually get off of the 507 edition G63s, but just finishing chrome, awesome looking, drove this around for quite a while, then decided to wrap it in baby blue, similar to what he had on his 458 uh, back in the day before the Liberty Walk kit, as we just saw. Now that actually had a bit of an unfortunate fate as it got rear-ended by a Range Rover at traffic. So there's videos of Justin Bieber kind of talking to the owner of the Range Rover, but it looks like the, the Range Rover just smacked into the back of it. The Range was completely destroyed, whereas the G-Wagon just had a little bump on the rear, which shows, I guess, how strong those are. This is, of course, a pre-facelift G-Wagon. Then, for a reason I'm not too sure about, he wrapped it completely as a Christmas theme. So he had a completely Christmas themed wrapped G65 AMG. Yeah, not too sure what was going on there. Looked kind of funky. You can see videos of him also. I mean, probably not the best way not to attract attention. But again, this was done by West Coast Customs. We're getting there, guys. There's still a few to go through. Lamborghini Aventador. So keep track here. This is what we could find out because there's a lot of different photos of Bieber in a lot of different Aventadors. So the story started way back when he was around 18 years old, uh, once he rented a white Lamborghini Aventador, which had a DMC body kit for a weekend. It uh, wasn't actually his car. The car was then available on other rental websites. So clearly just rented it for a weekend event. So that's where the Lamborghini Aventador story started. Then recently, a few years ago, when the Aventador S came out, he was actually loaned a blue car with silver wheels. Now this he drove around for a little while before actually getting his own uh, non-loaner. Why, why he had a loaner, I don't really understand. I guess it's good PR for the local Lamborghini bikini garage. But then after that, he actually bought his own Aventador S, which we've seen in many different colors. So that car is originally gray. So when he got it, the car was gray, but not too long after having driven it around and being seen in it a couple of times, he wrapped it red and actually had the car delivered at a luxury beach hotel in Los Angeles. So you can see it coming off this truck and him kind of seeing the car for the first time. Looked awesome. So he drove this round, but again, not for very long before again having it wrapped, this time in kind of a mint baby blue greenish kind of color which looked awesome now this he actually drove around quite a bit he was seen kind of taking it to church all the time and eventually it kind of popped up with a cash only kind of graffiti on the side, which is the signature of a friend of his who's an artist, who I guess he said, you know, look, the car's wrapped so you can graffiti on the side and then worst case, we just take the wrap off. So yeah, he was then seen driving around a mint blue Aventador S with a wing tire writing and cash only written on the side. Again, probably not the most discreet way to get around town. Clearly he figured the same thing. So unwrap the car eventually and now currently still owns this Aventador S. However, it is in its original gray paint color, but 
still has the wing and the tire writing on it. Looks pretty cool. Now, actually, fun story about this car. Around about the same time as he had this car, he bought a Range Rover SVR. Facelifted Range Rover SVR, a supercharged V8, awesome looking thing, fully blacked out. There's kind of a fun little story about what happened between his SVR and his Aventador. I'll let him tell the story. I parked it in front of the Lamborghini, but it wasn't in park, and it rolled into the back in the front of the Lamborghini. First day I got it. No way. So they have to take the Lambo to, yeah. Oh wow, in the front of the Lambo? The front of it. So yeah, I mean, he doesn't seem too worried about the fact that uh, he smashed the front of his Aventador. But from what we've seen, it's been since fixed and is back in its gray color. Now another car, which is actually one of the cars that Justin Bieber has been associated with the most recently, is his Lamborghini Urus twin turbo V8 4x4 by the Italian brand. Awesome looking thing. Started its life off in black is the stock color, just black paint, very similar to his Range Rover SVR. But then actually was wrapped in pink. Pink, why not? Pink car, pink Lamborghini Urus, which he actually kind of daily drove around for a while, didn't last, not that surprisingly, too long in its pink wrap. And then we'll switch to what it is now, and this is kind of the car he's seen in the most now and driving around the most, is kind of like a, a matte beige color. Don't really know how you'd describe it, but I think it looks great. Justin Bieber's obviously had quite a few kind of wacky specs and tried quite a few new things, which I think have actually come out quite nicely as well. The blue 458 and G-Wagon, the turquoise of Entador. Not too sure about the Leopard R8. But this Urus, I think, looks really cool. Comment down below what you think. But this is kind of the car that he's using at the moment, mostly as his daily driver. So then, from there, another car there were a lot of rumors about, similarly to the Bugatti Veyron, is this red LaFerrari. Ferrari LaFerrari, of course, close to 1,000 horsepower. We've spoken about it a bunch in these videos. Seems to be a car that celebrities are often associated with. This actually is not his. For a long time, there were rumors about this car being his car or him having another LaFerrari. This is actually Lewis Hamilton's car. They took Lewis Hamilton's LaFerrari and then Justin Bieber ended up posting this photo with the LaFerrari, which is, I think, the best LaFerrari coupe spec in the world, but it isn't actually his car. So yeah, although he could probably very easily afford one, he doesn't actually have a LaFerrari in his collection. One of the most recent cars he was seen with is a classic grey Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, future classic, awesome gold wing doors, naturally aspirated 6.2 litre V8, awesome looking thing. However, apparently broke down. So Haley Bieber, his wife and himself, Justin, were in the Hamptons on holiday and clearly rented an SLS AMG to have as their car while they were there. But it broke down in the middle of the road. Very unfortunate. So these photos are of Justin and Haley. You can see police cars in the background kind of trying to figure out a solution for what to do with their broken down SLS AMG summer car. Oh, okay. I think we're there. I think we've done it. I don't think I've forgotten anything. There's so many cars to go through. That was as best as we could. A run through of all of the cars Justin Bieber has been associated with. I hope you enjoyed the video. As per usual, if there's someone else you want us to talk about, do research on, and eventually make a video on their car collection, any celebrity, just comment their name down below. And we'll be going through those comments and picking the person who's the most recurring. Anyways, as I said at the beginning of this video, if you aren't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a little thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And I'll be seeing you again very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.